All right, here we go. It is the 60th annual Merry Monarch Festival, and it's back with a full audience. Tonight is Ho'ike Night, which returns after a pandemic break, and the excitement is building. Our Kiahi Tucker and Mahail Ani Richardson joins us live from Hilo. How's it, Kiahi and Mahail? Aloha, Mark. Yes, the poo is sounding and the royal court is entering the stadium right behind us. I think you can see them way back there up on stage. They do a very slow walk to their seats and then they'll stay there all night long. It's really a special and unique part of this festival. It is. And there's so many special guests who are here, including Kimo Kahoano and his beautiful wife, Leilani. In fact, they said this is their first time as spectators as the Merry Monarch Festival. But as we all know, he is known as the voice of the festival. So ladies and gentlemen, hello, Ikave Q. 74-year-old Kimo Kahoano hosted his first Merry Monarch Festival in 1981 after being asked by late co-founder Auntie Dottie Thompson. He thought it was for one year only. One year? This is great. Oh yeah, I'll be there. More than four decades later, he's known as the iconic voice of the Merry Monarch Festival. I, I didn't think I had this great voice or anything. Over the years, his co-hosts have been cultural icons, history scholars, and celebrated broadcasters. His mastery of long Hawaiian words with style is legendary, and Kahoano says it's like riding a wave. One year, I got this long name for Mr. Lohula, uh -huh. and I said, Wow, look at this name. And it was Kiliolani Nuiamama Hoopi Ivahine Kapua Loke Okalania Kea Lai. Kahoano says it's a must to give the dancers and Kumuhula the proper introduction. You, you practice, but you better also be aware of what the Kumu wants to hear. I want to make sure I do them right. You know, if you, if you don't do the halal right, then kumuhula, you in big trouble, baby. <laughs> he credits his wife, Leilani, for urging him to do even more to study the Hawaiian language, which they did. So we go back and I learned the enunciation of our language, you know. I wish I had also the gift of Olelo Hawaii. Is there one halal that you really like to watch? I, I love them all. Um, for what they give. Kahoano wears his emotions on the sleeve of his Aloha shirt and says he gives his heart to the Merry Monarch Festival. It's an art. It's a love. So if you ever see Uncle Kimo, don't be shy because you may be graced by his call of Aloha. Well, Mahalani Richardson at the Merry Monarch Hula Festival in Hilo, Hawaii. <laughs> oh, you just that gotta love right. Kimo Kahawano. Awesome. We can all learn so much from him. And I just love looking at all of the photos, including of you, Kiahi, so many years of being here at the festival. Oh, he's just a drop compared to Kimo. He's so full of aloha. His spirit is so pure. And as broadcasters, I know I speak for you as well. We've learned so much from him over the years. Mahalo, Kimo. All right, from Hilo, for Mahalani Richardson, I'm Kiahi Tucker. Back to you. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome story, Mahal. You can watch the Merry Monarch Festival only on K5, starting with Ho'ike performances tonight.